I'll be showing you step by step how to add an announcement bar to any Shopify store or any Shopify theme. To do so, we'll be using a completely free app that has a very generous plan and it's going to make it super easy to add this announcement bar. So the app we're going to be using is called Hextom Quick Announcement Bar. And as mentioned, it has a free plan available to give us a fully customizable banner. So I leave a link for this app in the description below, but you can also find it in the Shopify app store. So once you get to the app page here, click install, and this will bring us to our installation sequence. If you're comfortable with the permissions, click install app. So once the app is loaded, let's go and actually create our announcement bar. So in the top menu here, I'm going to click on create new bar. Next, we get to decide the theme here. We can add some more customization, but there are basic templates. I'm going to select bold and clear to start. Now we can see a preview and here's where we can configure the content of our announcement bar so first we can set the name this is an internal reference so only we as a store owners can see it it's going to call this number one for the message it's going to depend on what type of promotion or announcement you want to show your customers i might say something like worldwide sale 15 percent off everything next we can set the bar to be clickable or not we can add a button make the entire bar clickable or do not make it clickable. I'm gonna make it clickable here. And next you can set the link URL on what will happen when the customer clicks it. We can set whether to open the link in a new tab. There's also the option to insert the language code if your site has been translated. Next, we can include a close button for our announcement bar. I'm gonna leave this as no. Next, we get display settings. So these settings are basically just going to customize on whether we want it to overlap or push down the other elements on the page and if we always want it to be visible when scrolling. I'm gonna leave this as the default option here. Next, as mentioned, we can have style configuration. So that was our preset theme, but let's say I want a purple background color. Maybe the text color should be white and the button background color, although not displayed, will be white and my button text color will be this dark gray. Next, we can set the font here. We also have different Google fonts. I'm just gonna stick to the web safe font here of Helvetica. You can also set the font size. Maybe I want this to be 20 instead of the 14 or 18 that was listed there before. We also get padding. So how much space between the borders here and our actual text. We can also have a delay or set it to disappear at a certain time. We can also set targeting. I'm gonna leave this as all pages and I don't want it to exclude from any pages as well. I want it to display on both desktop and mobile. So if I scroll down to the bottom here, I can hit save to finalize our announcement bar settings. So next let's take a look at how this actually looks. So on the left hand side, I'm gonna hover over online store, then click on the eye as it allows me to view my store. And if I take a look at the top of the page here, I can see worldwide sale, 15% off everything and clicking on it brings me to the rest of the apps by Hacks Tom there, which I did leave as the link. And if I scroll down, the announcement bar is gonna follow me along the page, just like I set up. Before I go, I wanna say that keeping track of how much money your store has actually made can be very difficult, especially if you're using spreadsheets or Excel. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you need to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including all your ads, spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many other cost of goods sold options, including all your other expenses as well, such as transaction fees or ad agency costs. It's going to include a ton of different details, analytics, and metrics, so you can make smarter business decisions. It can also have multiple stores in the same dashboard if you run multiple Shopify stores, and you can get started with a 15-day free trial. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below that will bring you to the Shopify app page directly. So this concludes the video here on how to add an announcement bar to any Shopify store theme. We used an app with a very generous free plan and it made the process super simple to set up. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.